How do you measure success? Like, uh, you've been on the council for a couple of years, doing, and you, you've gone through thousands of issues. How do you, how do you as a council person or as a, as a public servant, as it was, how do, you, how do you look at what you're doing and saying, this is working, I'm succeeding here? Or, uh, You know, uh, it's, you get feedback. It's a small enough town uh-huh. that people will tell you. I have old, you know, I, since I grew up here, I have elementary school teachers and junior high school teachers who will stop me in the street and tell me whether... They think I'm doing a good or bad job. They grade you. Yeah, <laughs> and I got uh, family around here to tell me what, all that thing. So part of it's that, but mostly it's, it's about making incremental change. I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to come in because right. of the institution and make any sweeping changes. It's going to totally change Santa Cruz. But can you get the sidewalks cleaner downtown? Right. Can you get a little more economic development? Can you get a, more, a little bit more leverage with the university? That's, that's what you're looking for. Did you always aspire to be a, in politics, or specifically on the Santa Cruz City Council? You follow, you're following in your father's footsteps, who was mayor in the early 90s. And well, I mean, the money's so good, and the, you have so much <laughs> respect. Right. Uh, it's glamorous. Yeah. I, it I, is, I mean, yeah. it's just glamour all the time. I Paparazzi heard you do it for the chicks. Opening, oh yeah. I mean, it's, it's groupies. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, no, Backstage I, passes to the Civic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, sometimes they even let you into the attic every once in a while, and then you really know you're you're cool. Well, I mean, you're on our show. Yeah, hey, exactly. I mean, the benefits are endless. Uh, No, I, uh, once my dad was on it, you get a sense that it's accessible, that you can be on it, and you can make a difference, and uh, it doesn't seem that difficult. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, that's where the interests come from. But I haven't, uh, I sort of went back and forth about whether I want to be on the city council, because it's long hours, and it's difficult and hard choices and all that. You have the distinction of being, Chip, is it the second highest vote getter? Second highest vote getter in the history, in the history of this town. Yes. It, uh, second to? I had the, uh, Emily Rowick. Who's also your Who's colleague. also on the council with me. But uh, we had the good fortune of being on there with, uh, when, being on the ballot when George Bush was on the ballot, which may have right. turned out a couple oh. citizens. Might have. Uh, yeah. Who yeah, care probably. about that sort of thing. Care about that thing. So you're going to keep doing it. Yeah. You're gonna, oh, yeah. Is Sam Farr, you're going to take his seat next when he retires? You know, what, what I are we think doing, Sam Ryan? actually has the worst job in the country going back and forth every week. So you're going to do it? Uh, no, I don't <laughs> think so. Uh, no, I'm, I'm really happy teaching at the university okay. and uh, being on the council, and it's great to be back in Santa Cruz. And so it's great to have you here, Ryan. Thank yeah. you. Thank you Thanks. so much for joining it's fantastic us. fantastic Very here. much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Ryan. Yes, sir. And we'll look forward to seeing more of you on Santa Cruz's favorite reality show there on <laughs> yes. Tuesday nights. Yeah. There's every, uh, every uh, about twice a month on Channel 25 on Tuesdays. On our way out of here, we're going to look at uh, one of the city's public art projects, the graphic traffic boxes, which are, are the little things that control the traffic lights all out of town. But first, let's visit with a good friend of Ryan's and ours. Thanks for joining us. Final speaker. <clears throat> Mayor Rockin, city, <laughs> vice mayor, mayor, <laughs> mayor, mayor, start this over. Too. Thank start you. over again. <laughs> mayor Matthews, vice mayor of Raleigh City Council. My name is Mike Tomasi, king of the trolls of A Battery, 6th Battalion, 14th Artillery. My name is Mike Tomasi, king of the trolls of A Battery, 6th Battalion, 14th Artillery. A walking, talking miracle from Vietnam, the greatest word observer in the history of the United States greatest word observer in the history of the United States and a real live hero. I hold my hand up for the Constitution for freedom. I hold my hand up for freedom under this freedom the Constitution of the United States, all 27 amendments and if you don't stand up for your rights you'll fall never to get up again. I close my fist for compassion. Close my fist for compassion, understanding and evaluating what's happening around me. Understanding and evaluating everything that's happening around you. And I come to you with no bombs, no guns, and I come to Mr. Bush with no bombs, no guns. I come to you with the truth and all the love I can throw at you. But the truth and all the love I can throw at the man. Mr. Bush, six. Mr. Cheney, six. Mr. Rumsfeld, six. That goes straight to the belly of the beast, who is Mr. Bush and his devil's cult. I call it the Ku Klux Klan of the American people who will all be bitch slapped by the head of internal affairs of all of humanity. Who will all be bitch slapped, bitch slapped, bitch slapped, bitch slapped by the head of internal affairs of all of humanity. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Thanks. And I'm telling you that copper 
Mike, Mike, 